So, so uh, today's broadcast is, is uh, being sponsored by our friends at CCI Solutions uh, in Olympia, Washington. So uh, let's hear from them right now. Hey, Ron, what's happening? In this webinar, we're actually on location to show everyone how the Personas Live works in a live worship situation. We're going to show you how the Studio Live is much more than just a great digital mixing console because there are six free integrated software packages that come with every Persona Studio Live mixer. With those, you can control the mixer from an iPad or an iPhone. You can perform a virtual sound check. In other words, you can do the whole mix and do your EQ even when the band isn't in the room. And then you can record and publish music to the web. So this year's webcast, the one we're doing now, builds upon one we did last year, which had a lot more instruction on the specific features of the Studio Live. That one, we had over 1,000 live views and a 1,000 more online over the past year. So if you've missed that one, it's still available at our website at ccisolutions.com slash personas. So the Studio Live Mixer is really designed for an analog workflow. And, you know, the, the whole Studio Live solution is not just a piece of hardware. It's actually surrounded by a whole, a, a whole ecosystem of software that really provides some really great solutions. Um, some of the things we're going to talk about today, wireless mixing, uh, recording, being able to record very easily, being able to use those recordings and edit them with software. We're also going to talk about some of the new tools, uh, including uh, room measurement and, and you know, frequency measurement tools that we've provided with the software. So the first thing I want to do is go over kind of the, the control surface or the hardware part of the Studio Live. And again, like I said, um, it was designed to be a really, really fast and easy workflow. So one thing that you kind of see with the Studio Live is, you know, there's no layers on the board. Basically, your front of house faders are always here, and channel 16 will always be channel 16. You'll never accidentally be adjusting channel 16 and it's channel 32 or something like that. Um, the, the other kind of advantage with this type of workflow is, is that you always know where you are with the front of house mix. But we've, we've tried to make um, the, the entire work surface uh, feel very analog and let you be able to get around very quickly. Okay, so the heart of the Studio Live is this blue section right here. It's called the fat channel. And this is where all of your EQ, dynamics, and assignments live for any selected channel. So very easily, if I select channel 18, here's all of my settings for channel 18. And if I just kind of go left to right, I've got a high pass filter, I've got a noise gate, I've got a compressor limiter, um, I've got a four band fully parametric EQ on the 24 channel mixer. I've got panning for that particular channel. Uh, I can link adjacent channels together just by hitting this link button. Um, I've got this really cool clipboard here that allows me to be able to copy and paste channels very quickly. And then I've got my subgroup and my main assignments for that particular channel. So if, it, you know, I can teach somebody how to mix on this board in five minutes, okay? So it's like if I say, hey, you know, put channel 20 in subgroup two, you just select channel 20 and you put it in subgroup two, just like that. Take it out of the main, now it's on subgroup two, and then you can select channel subgroup, l let's say there's a select button on subgroup two, and now I can assign that to the main. So the, the routing is very, very great. The other thing that's cool is, is this entire fat channel is available not just on every one of your inputs, but you also have it available on every one of the outputs. So all of your aux outputs have the full fat channel. Your subgroup outputs have the full fat channel. Even the master fader has a select button on it too. So I can just hit select and now I can EQ the entire uh, or throw a compressor on the entire system. So we, we really tried to make sure that there was plenty of processing on the Studio Live mixer. Now, auxiliaries or monitors are really easy to set as well. So for example, here's aux 9 right here. And you know you can see there's, there's a row of buttons labeled control. So if I hit the control button underneath aux 9, well now all of these encoders above each channel basically turn into send levels to that particular aux. So really easy if I want to give aux 9 a little bit more of channel 24, I just go over to the channel 24 encoder, turn it up there. If aux 10 needs some, I hit the, the mix control on aux 10. 
give them a little bit of channel 24. So again, very intuitive, very fast. Now, one of the things that we included with the Studio Live purposefully is the ability to load in presets very easily. And the whole idea with the preset is, is it is a starting point. So it's a basic EQ compressor gate setting for any selected channel. So let's just say we have a background vocalist on you know, channel 17. So I select channel 17, and then I hit the load button right here. And then right here in the screen, all of my presets pop up. So let's say, OK, here is a male vocal, and I want to load it. And it basically tells you right here, load to channel 17, hit recall. So I hit recall. Now that channel 17 has loaded this preset, and it's a starting point. Now from here, I can go in and tweak it. And you know, let's say if this is a particular vocalist at the church, I can go ahead and rename this preset once I make my adjustments. You know. Jerry's vocal or something like that. And whenever Jerry is uh, going to be with us, I can, you know, on a particular Sunday, I can just select his channel and load it in that way. Okay, so you can, you can very easily do that. But here's an, another really cool thing. This is where the workflow of the Studio Live is so important is let's say, you know, I have three other vocalists. And instead of having to start from just scratch, I can select channel 17 and I hit copy right here on the clipboard. Now, what's happening when all of these buttons blink, is it say, it, the, the board is saying, where do you want to copy that vocal to? Oh, I want to copy it to 18, 19, 20, hit load, done. So literally that simple. Now that might sound pretty like elementary, but try doing this on almost any other digital console. Um, you know, one thing that we really strategically tried to do when we designed this board is we wanted to make sure that if you're coming from an analog world, you can get on this board and feel at home very, very quickly. And the other thing that we tried to do is we tried to, to not let you have to focus on a screen in the middle of the board and then having to go through a bunch of menus and layers and that kind of a thing. And that, that's that's a, a thing that a lot of other digital consoles give you the flexibility of presets and all this stuff. But, you know, in a live application, you have to be able to get to what you need very, very quickly. And then the second thing with working with a mixer like this in a church setting is, is you have to be able, you know, you may not have the same sound engineer every Sunday, or you may have different services with different volunteers mixing. And so you need to be able to teach uh, this technology very easily. And so uh, the Studio Live is very simple in that way.